Welcome back everybody. We're going to uh, proceed on with the Italian guns in the collection and then it's going to segue really nicely into the Winchesters because uh, this one is a Winchester and as you know by the title of it of course it's a new birdie uh, version of the uh, 1866 Yellow Boy Winchester. Um, of course this was the first gun Winchester had their name on I won't get too much into the history of it because there's probably a lot of you that have a lot more knowledge in that area than I do and I probably just make mistakes but uh, if I do you know forgive me on, on it but uh, of course Winchester was a an excellent businessman and Henry wasn't and Henry decided he wanted a little more cash for his firearms uh, manufacturing he was manufacturing them for Winchester and uh, Winchester said fine we'll uh, he already had the uh, patents in his name so they went to court over it Winchester won because he owned the patents Henry was kicked out of the picture and uh, the rest is uh, history uh, Winch uh, Henry ended up just retiring as a gunsmith going back into uh, pretty much oblivion uh, with his design going on in Winchester's name. Uh, this is, uh, here we go, this is the, has the Winch, the Henry toggle action in it. This is a Uberti uh, anniversary edition. This was the uh, 150th anniversary of it, so it was built in uh, uh, 2016. I got my notes here making sure I don't make too many mistakes. Uh, there were only 350 of these engraved versions made. Uh, Uberti says that these were based off of a engraving he had in stock, or in his possession, in his ownership. I'll give you some views of it as I speak. And uh, it is hand-chased engraving, so it was probably applied... Uh, by laser and then hand chased and signed by the engraver take a look at this side a little closer you can see I got my gloves on so I don't tarnish up the brass on it it is a, uh, a brass type receiver Winchester had a name for it I believe it was called gun alloy or something like that if I'm wrong don't don't slay me this one is chambered in 45 Colt And it's just a pleasure to look at. Very, very uh, accurate to the original. Of course, the uh, the lever lock here, and the nice. Take a look at the nice open top receiver. Uh, the flip up ladder style sights. Let you see some more of that engraving, and. And you can see they're, they're a pleasure to shoot and operate. As you can see how the action works. Let me get it in frame here. See how the ejector works. Everything is open to the dust in the world. Which is bring us to the next firearm in line after this one. And you can see a little bit of dust on it. But... I haven't fired this gun yet, and I don't know as I will, uh, possibly, being Italian. Uh, I don't know the prices on these right now, because you just don't see the engraved versions. They still make the Yellow Boys, but like I say, these were limited. There's other companies that engraves these. There was one company that made a thousand of their engraved version, quite a bit more elaborate engraving. Uh, generally, these, from what I have seen, uh, some of these are approaching two thousand dollars in price believe it or not a little bit of dust on it um, I found this in my local big box store actually sitting on the shelf and had been sitting there two years and they put it on sale so I got it at an extremely reasonable price 
again 45 Colt and caliber so it's just something in a, in a very classic Winchester style very good wood uh, that you're not going to see too often probably and I thought you'd enjoy taking a look at a real pleasurable eye-pleasing firearm Again, uh, the Winchester 1866, the gun that uh, Henry designed and Winchester took over. So there we go. Another, uh, another Winchester is going to be coming up next in line. And we'll take a quick look at it and just proceed right on down the line in the models of Winchesters I have. It's not an all-inclusive uh, collection, but it's enough to give uh, you a good flavor of Winchesters. And we're also gonna compare some Japanese to some American-made ones. So uh, come around back again for that and uh, hope you enjoy this Winchester segment. Thanks for watching.